Alrighty, so I think I'm losing my mind because I'm like, man, this is gonna be a really good video. You guys are gonna enjoy it. We're gonna make a one-off video where we go with a zero overall team and we try to go to the World Series as quickly as possible. So, I mean, it sounds fun. I know it's gonna be difficult because most of these players are gonna retire at the end of season one. So we're gonna need a completely new team and we can't really trade for draft picks or anything like the NFL does or the NBA. So we can't acquire more players quickly. This one's gonna be tough. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit the like button down below. That's the easiest way for me to know that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you missed yesterday's, it's popping up on screen what it was. It was a Legends Fantasy Draft Rebuild Challenge. It was a lot of fun. It's also popping up in this corner right here where you guys can click it and it'll take you to that video. I think you guys will enjoy it. I had a lot of fun recording it. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy MLB content down below, hit that subscribe button. We're rapidly approaching 15,000 subs. I've got something planned. It's got something in the works. So the quicker we get to that number, the quicker I can reveal to you guys what is coming. So that's about it. Let's get into this madness. Alrighty, so we're hopping into it. Really, I'm only showing you this. Um, GM contracts are off. Everything else is left as per usual. So there's no ignore budgets. The budgets are on. There's no forced trades, so trades are gonna be legit. And we're gonna hop into this. Um, I do need to sort out the roster to make sure all the zero overall players are in the major leagues. So let me, or the major league, the major league roster. So I gotta make sure that all the zero overall players are on the major league roster. So let me do that really quick. I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, everybody is zero overall. I know it says they're one, but everybody is a zero overall. There are no stats that are above zero so like this is what you're looking at everything is zero so it's gonna be bad i know most of these players are going to retire at the end of the year um some players jump up to a two but as you guys can see their stats are still all at zero this is going to be a very very tough one so with my rules what i'm gonna do is we got to keep the lineup the same um, we're not going to trade any of these players season one if any of the players do return in season two we can't trade them then they're not going to have too much value um, it's going to be difficult to trade them so with that being said we do have a minor league like roster for triple a double a single a we're not going to be able to trade any of these players until season two just because i do not want to just go out trade these guys and get like a bunch of like 70 overall players who can help us win games right away season two is when we're going to be able to trade all these guys to really help us out with our push for playoffs for a world series and whatnot free agents we're allowed to sign free agents season one don't worry i'm not going to go out and sign a completely new mlb roster i'm going to pick and choose which players i think are going to be able to help us for a few seasons rather than just sign one-off players like that we're going to have to be very selective with which players how much money we sign them for and stuff like that because we're going to need a completely new MLB roster come next year. This is probably the hardest rebuild that we're going to do. So without further ado, I'm going to add a couple free agents. I'm going to be selective with the ones we pick out. And let's, let's see how this season goes. Um, I have no idea, really. Alrighty, so I looked at free agents and I found a couple that I think is going are going to help us out. So catcher, I found Devin Mrezeraco. He may not be the best player of agent of available in free agency, but... This way we have a catcher. We don't have to worry about picking up a catcher anytime soon. And we can focus putting our money in other areas. We picked them up for two years, three million. It's not a bad deal. Next up, we went to the pitching and this is where I kind of added some players. Chase Whitley is the best available starting pitcher. I figured for two years, three mil, not bad. We don't have to worry about picking up another pitcher come next season. And then I brought in a setup man in Carter Caps, a young guy with good potential who can help us out for the future. And also Adam Libertor. I picked him up for one year just because he normally doesn't do well. But if we can have a guy who if we ever do get in a safe situation and he can help us out there, at least we have him for a season. So that's the season one roster. I'm going to focus really hard on scouting. Hopefully we can get some really good players in the um, in the draft with like 70 or high 60s overall who can hop into the squad right away come season two but to be honest this one this one might be one of the longer the longer rebuilds that we do okay so when i say we need a good draft i really mean it because our team is god awful so, so let's take a quick look at our draft so the first pick stevie cruz 73 overall with 96 potential solid Alfonso Beltran, another pitcher, 71 overall, 88 potential. 
I like it. Very good. Look at those per nines already. Good hits per nine, good walks per nine. Perfect. Neil Valentine at 74 overall, 83 potential. Those per nines already look amazing. He's going to be a great addition. Zachary Withrow, 66 overall, 89 potential. Solid. And then we got a couple little meh players. Um, I didn't pick a lot of position players because there really weren't too many good ones that I thought could help us out right away. Um, so that's why I went heavy on the starting pitchers. Plus, usually prospects like starting pitchers have more trade value. So if we end up trading these guys, we're in a lot better position. All right, I'm going to show you something that might blow your mind. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know. If, I, I really don't know if you guys are ready. We won three games. We won three games. So let's go see who were the sad opponents that we won against. So we beat the Red Sox. We beat Chris Sale. I'm sorry, what? How? So we scored two in the first. Uh, LaFont had two RBIs and Wallace had an RBI as well. Okay. We beat Kansas City two to one. Let's, let's take a look at that too. Uh, LaFont. And who had the basically the winning? Lynn Wood had the RBI as well. And then we beat the Rays one to nothing. Who was the one that brought in the run? Harmon. Okay. So three wins. That's a start. I see we have some pretty rough losses as well. 30 to nothing is one I see with the Mariners. That sucks. And then 29 nothing there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know we didn't lose like a hundred to nothing. Like that's just not possible unless like you make like you actually go into the game and play. But yeah, there's some 30 loss, like 30 run losses and stuff like that. So, I mean, we got smacked. We definitely didn't have any league leaders awards or maybe like a pity award. Maybe they gave you like a, a participating medal, but that's, that's really about it. So let's take a look, see how things went. Um, Chase Whitley was all three of our wins. So he has all three of our wins. Everybody else, you know, that is. It's a little rough. Definitely a little rough. Elmo Weeks. Okay. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Um, okay. Adrian Libertor didn't do too bad. Did he have the three saves as well? He did. And then Carter Caps is actually looking like a really good player so far for us. He's up to an 84. So I'm kind of happy that we picked him up. Um, looking at the team. Oof. This is uh, rough. And then we got Devin Mezzarocco who... I mean, not too bad. Not too bad for what he, you know, what kind of situation he's put into. So season one's over. It was rough. Who's uh, who's who's winning the World Series here? Cubs beat the Yankees. And this is the part I'm kind of dreading because I already know what's going to happen. I don't care about my coaches right now. I'm more worried about who I'm about to go see retire. Oh, God. So I think that's everybody, right? That's everybody. Like one, two, yeah, that's that's like everybody. I think we have like what two people left? So what are we at? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. We have three players left, and those are the three that we signed. Oh boy. That is going to be tough. This we 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 need a completely new MLB roster. Um, oh boy. Plus the budget's a little weird. I got to figure something out. I'm not even going to show you who arbitration or contracts. Let's just hop into season two. I'll show you what we did. All right. When I say I spent about an hour trying to figure out which free agents or players that maybe we could trade for or just free eight, like just off season moves. I'm not kidding you. I said, I sat here and I just stared at this screen. I was like, how are we going to afford a brand new squad? Which was very difficult. We got denied a lot of free agents because we didn't have the budget. We're at like max budget right now. And this is the squad I came up with. So this is what we're working with. I mean, to be honest, it's not a terrible squad. Scooter Jeanette, Corey Dickerson, Nicholas Castellanos, Jed Jerko, Christian Villanueva, Cameron Mabin, um, this guy that was in free agency, Sammy Bautista. I mean, look at this guy. I, I guess it's not Bautz, it's Bautista. But good contact numbers, good fielding, decent speed. I mean, that guy was solid. Um, Thomas Villanueva is another player that was just sitting there like on a, on a small contract as well. That's what I was kind of looking for. Who I could get 
for cheap that could still help us. You guys can see our our farm system is trash, but I mean Leo Perdomo, he stuck around. He's he's the real man. He's he's a real OG right now, but we got Carlos Asuaje for, you know, a million. Casey Clemens was in our farm system, so he's available. Um, his contract's pretty low too, but you guys can see the contracts we're working with. Scooter Jeanette was a big one. Corey Dickerson wasn't too bad. Um, that's a decent one. Uh, Nicholas Castellanos was a pretty big one. Um, so that's probably why we're a little bit low on the money. But most of these players are sitting around two, three, four million um, for the next couple seasons. So um, I was I was looking for a lot of like Thomas Villanueva's, Sammy B Batista type deals so that we weren't spending too much money. So let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Um, you guys can see what we're working with. Trevor Cahill, we brought him in on a you know a two year deal. Again, I was just looking for players who would be able to help us for a season or two and maybe even trade away. Um, Drew Smiley was another one we brought in for three seasons just because he normally is very consistent. Uh, we got Paul Blackburn in this Rule 5 draft. He's a very good pickup. And then we also got Lucas Sims. And you're probably thinking, why would I go for Lucas Sims? Lucas Sims has got amazing trade value. And that was the sole reason I picked him up because we have a very stacked farm system for pitching i want to bring up neil valentine as a long reliever he's got 67 stamina i think he would fit that role perfectly and maybe even bring up stevie cruz this season which means we can trade lucas sims for maybe a bullpen arm um, because we kind of need it um i mean we're rocking with this <laughs> aj ramos aaron loop tyler kinley i don't know why the cpu took him um, his per nines are actually not that bad um, Carter Caps, Addison Reed, um, who is a three-year deal, and then at Adam Libertor. So I don't know what we're gonna do. I still feel like we're a, a bottom of the division team, but we're not as bad as last season. So season two, we're gonna do a couple trades. Let's get into it. I said we were very deep at the starting pitching spot, so we're gonna trade away DL Hall, who was already in our farm system. This guy who we acquired, Tyler Kinley, from the Rule Five draft. And another Rule 5 player in um, Lucas Sims. I told you he's got crazy good trade value. And it works out perfectly. We're picking up Josh Hader. Ooh, I like this pickup a lot. Alright, next trade. We're going to really try to attack this bullpen. AJ Ramos is going to be traded for Alex Reyes. Along with Carlos Asuaje and Anderson Franco. He was in the farm system. So, I need Alex Reyes to pan out. Alright, so those are the trades we're going to make for Season 1 for now. If things don't go well, we may end up trading some of our bigger players um, to get some like, you know, mid 80s, low 80s in return. So like if Scooter Jeanette's hitting like 220, we may trade him for like a, a high 70 player, maybe two low 70s players to really help us out, start getting more depth rather than just a starting lineup. And that's that. So this is the team. The lineup's still the same. The only thing that I added was this guy. He was in free agency on a very very small contract since we still are kind of budget push like crunched um elmo weeks is the remaining og pitcher um and then you guys can see how everything is looking right here alex reyes i need to pan out a potential he will have some trade value so that could always work in our favor if he doesn't pan out so overall we definitely improved we just aren't that good unfortunately second year our draft was not as good as the first let's take it let's take a look you know 86 potential for david spanos it gives us you know another option in left field he's 70 overall i mean he's not terrible but there was a better option and it was this guy robert collier good power good fielding good speed overall it looks more like a second baseman i think i would have put him there he would have flourished there and another player I looked at, and I'm kind of upset that I passed on, was Sedinquist. He would have been a very solid closer for us in a couple seasons. Unfortunately, I passed up on him. So, going back to our picks, we got a 75 potential in Nick Wilson, 86 potential in Nigel Albright. The thing is, he's 63, so it's going to take a bit for him to get involved. Willie Cardona, 79 potential, and then Jordan Castro, 76 potential. So, just not as good as season one all right frankie infante sorry bud your time is up we're also trading christian villanueva for a player i found on the trade block johan camargo very versatile he's having a good year 
He's got good hitting stats. We got a new third baseman. All right, next deal, Nicholas Castellanos is hitting a whopping 226. Sorry, bud. I know you got 17 home runs. You're, I mean, you're not, you're not having a bad season in terms of home runs and RBIs, but 226, if I'm paying you 9 million, I'm expecting at least 250. So we're gonna go for a new catcher in Jorge Alfaro. Um, we do have Devin Mesoraco still, but I think for a player that has arbitration and a small contract for the next three years, I like this deal. All right, Devin Menzeraco is being traded for Nick Markakis. I'm basically just trying to find a new right fielder for the rest of the season, and that's what I'm doing. This way, we get rid of a player we're not going to keep in Devin Menzeraco, and we can get a player who we actually need in Nick Markakis. So let me get the lineup set up, and I'll show you guys what we're working with for the rest of the season. All righty, so the pitching rotation is the same. They're struggling a lot, uh, like a lot, a lot. Um, we definitely need to invest in pitching next season, um, but this is the lineup. Overall, not too bad. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. All right, let me tell you, we're taking a step in the right direction. We won more than three games. So that's number one. Number two, we didn't make the playoffs. We were 67 and 95. Um, so let's go take a look, see how we are in the standings. We weren't the worst team in baseball. No way. The Pirates were. And the Marlins were below us. So we weren't the worst team in baseball. Even the Royals. We took a step up in the right direction. No league leaders or awards, but um, we're not the worst team in baseball. Chase Whitley, you know, you were a loyal servant, but you, you kind of sucked it up. Uh, Drew Smiley. I mean, these guys are most likely four or fives in a rotation anyways, so I'm not expecting them to be, you know, like Noah Syndergaard, Jacob deGrom type numbers. So overall, as you guys can see, meh you know neil valentine though is looking like he's definitely going to be a solid little long reliever for us as long as things go right elmo weeks eh. <laughs> um alex Reyes is up to an 80 i'm hoping that he continues to develop gets that era down gets that whip down aaron loop wow you were bad addison reed was bad carter caps did poorly adam lieber tore the only good one in the bullpen besides valentine was josh Hader. So we got to figure something out there. Scooter Jeanette's looking like a beast. Uh, solid leadoff hitter. 31 home runs. Almost a 300 average. Amazing. Corey Dickerson. That's a that's a solid season too. Um, it says he's going down. I don't know why. But we got him for another year. He Great season. You know, almost 280 with 21 bombs. Perfect. Nick Markakis, he's out the door. But he didn't have too bad of a season either. Um, Jed Jerko. Those are pretty similar to what Jed Jerko is going to be putting up. Um, actually, run production went up. A lot uh, obviously he played a little bit more than the past couple of years but similar average Johan Camargo I think is gonna be a great third baseman for us we just got to get that average up a little bit Cameron Maben, not terrible not terrible at all Sammy Batista is looking like he can be a, a good shortstop for us as long as he caps you know maybe he hits 83 84 we're still gonna have a, a good contact hitting shortstop Thomas Villanueva well we'll see I think he's going to be more of a, a, a DH for us, if anything. And Jorge Alfaro, I'm hoping, like, actually hits the ball well. Um, really, the only thing to look at are our pitching prospects. Beltron is making a push for a starter right away. Uh, we got Grayson Rodriguez, Zachary Withrow. Um, we definitely could have some, some starters very, very soon. Um, we didn't really have anybody else to look forward to that I remember. Um... Yeah, I mean, you guys can see we have Rodrigo Orozco, but he's pretty far away. Um, Jake Berger, Jesmuel Valentin, Valentine. Yeah, there really weren't too many other ones. So that's season two. Um, contracts and stuff. Again, we'll, we'll see who wins the World Series. But um, the Rockies defeat the Astros. Okay. Um, Do we lose anybody to retirement? Elmo Weeks. Damn. Dang you know all right so exclusive negotiations maybe Kate maybe Cameron again I'll wait I'll wait um Carter caps everything went down so we're gonna let everybody walk um, we're gonna move on to the next stage of free agency Corey I, Corey Dickerson exercises option which is awesome um, that means we get to keep him for another year um, and then looking at arbitration. Oh, yeah, everybody's gonna get one um, mm, Yeah Yeah, three million is not bad Libertor is probably gonna 
walk unless there's not better like free agents and everybody's gonna get a contract too Alrighty, start of season three we have george springer joining us he has a pretty decent contract to like take on um four years it's like six or seven million at the tops but i probably won't even use him by the time then i'll probably trade him by the time he hits that amount um and he, he's just he's an apps he's already played two games because they have that game in japan they have that kind of schedule but i mean when you look at his previous seasons he's definitely a good player to pick up we're gonna be trading dylan tate and a player i just signed in this offseason greg allen who's got a, a pretty good amount of trade value and this actually gives us a center fielder that we need all righty we're getting casey knees mys again we're, we're, we're picking him up he's a very solid pitcher we're trading grayson rodriguez who is the big piece in this trade and also drew smiley um, i looked around at other pitchers and he just has really good per nines already he's only going to get better and his contract is going to stay low so we should be fine all right so after those couple moves this is how we're looking for the year casey chase stevie cruz has made his way into the majors paul blackburn and trevor cahill we got neil valentine Alex Reyes, Libertor, Yimmy Garcia from the Rule 5 draft, Kirby Yates for one season from free agency, Jose Alvarez as well from free agency, and then we have Josh Hader. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting Beltron involved. I just don't know when. We also have Withrow, and we got to fill those other two spots, but that's not going to be hard to do. Looking at our lineup, it's, it's looking so strong. Batista is already up to an 80. We just brought in Springer. We brought in Carlos Santana for a season. Um, he, trust me, he's... He's going to hit some bombs. We're looking probably around 30 home runs for us with a decent average. Johan Camargo, Alfaro, Corey Dickerson, and then Maben came back for a year. Um, David Spanos, we just drafted. We'll see how he does in the bigs. We don't really have anybody we could call up. Maybe Andres Alvarado. Outside of that, we don't really have anybody we can call up. So I do want to make a couple more trades probably at the deadline day to see how everybody plays out. But so far, the team's shaping out pretty solid in the third season. Let's see how we do. Alrighty, so Leo Perdomo's time is up. We're going to trade him, Alex Wells, and Lee Armas for Nicky Delmonico of the White Sox. We've been kind of in need of a right fielder anyways. Because um, I don't think Maben is going to be sticking around for too much longer. Um, you know, he's aging. So, I mean, he's, it, I'm not saying he's having a bad season. He's actually having a really, really good season. But um, adding a little bit younger player with some potential, I, I think will definitely help us out. So squad's looking a little bit stronger. Um, we're actually pushing for a wild card spot, so that's why I'm kind of making a, a, a little bit, a little bit of a move for a younger player. So let's see how that pans out and see if we can make that wild card spot in season three. Alrighty, it took till season three, but it may be the year we finished. 90 and 72 we made the postseason as a wild card team taking on the rays i mean maybe maybe it's time we got an award what's the award got a couple gold gloves i'll definitely take that so let's take a look at the lineup this batista guy is looking actually pretty solid very good hitter scooter Jeanette's looking like a great signing for us as well very consistent close to 300 every year we got george springer doing you know pretty solid as well um, a little bit down from last year, but still not going to complain about it. Carlos Santana, the average is a little low, but again, you know, close to 30 home runs. Not too bad. Johan Camargo's hitting 280, like around 280, which is good. 22 bombs. I like to see that. Corey Dickerson's been very consistent for us as well. So that's what we're really putting together. We're putting a team that's just very consistent, putting up, you know, the kind of the same numbers, but they're, they're producing. Jorge Alfaro is going down. I don't like to see that. Nicky Delmonico is going up. He hit almost 40 home runs this season, which is awesome to see. And Cameron Maben, I said he wasn't having a bad season. Um, and he's at, he, had, he had a pretty good one. Um, Jed Jerko was very solid off the bench. Um, and we still don't really have anybody um, here who I'm too excited about. It's the pitching that we do have those prospects. So let's go take a look at the pitching. Um, Casey, I need, to, I need that ERA to go down a little bit. Stevie Cruz whoa okay we may have an ace there chase whitley's done with us so i'm not freaking out about it paul blackburn's getting better and then trevor cahill's done with us as well so we'll definitely splash some cash on some free agent pitchers um neil valentine's okay we may move him over here um next year libertor struggled as per usual so he's done with us 
Jose Alvarez, not too bad. Um, definitely not terrible. Um, Yumi Garcia, not too bad either. Kirby Yates was very solid for us in that spot. Um, Alex Reyes is looking like a player I'm going to trade um, while I can, and he's got some value. And then Josh Hader only blew three saves, and he had 51. Um, looking at our pitchers, we got Alonzo Beltran, who I'm thinking it's time to call up next season. And Withrow is not too far behind him. So it's playoff baseball for the Baltimore Orioles. This zero, zero overall rebuild is, whew, it's getting a little hectic. Um, let's, we, I mean, we got, I'm putting my faith in Stevie Cruz to help us out. Looking at the race team, they got Varela, but everybody else looks uh, pretty standard. Austin Meadows takes Cruz deep. All right, so we're down 2 nothing. Uh, we do got a guy on first, though, with one out. Nothing happens. It's a little unfortunate. All right, we get out of that inning. We get a single. So, again, a leadoff, run, leadoff runner, basically, and we just can't do anything with it. Um, so we're down three. Stevie's struggling a little bit. Um, but I have a feeling. Okay, we're going we're gonna to inch our way back. There's one run. All right. Okay, that's a good inning for Stevie Cruz. Can we keep it going? A triple. We got to bring this run in. Couldn't. All right, come on. Give me, give me through this inning. Five. Oh, man. It's looking like that's our season right there. A six-run deficit. First and second with two outs. I can't take advantage of it. All right, let's go to Alvarez. Okay, we got, we got three innings to put up an offensive onslaught. Can we do it in two innings now? No, nah, I mean, Blake Snell is just shutting the door on us. We did make the postseason. That's that's a start. So, I mean, we're, we're inching our way there. Um, and we should have some money with the players leaving this season. So, Cleveland won. And let's, let's get into it. I mean, we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't shy away from spending money this time. And uh, we should be in a good spot. We, you know, we have some players leaving. I mean, look at look at all these like aging players that we're gonna we're gonna let go. Corey Dickerson, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him back. He was he was good for us. Um, and I mean for like six and a half million, that's that's not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna hold off on everybody else just to be safe, just in case you know some other free agent spark my interest, or I'd rather spend the money somewhere else. Scooter Jeanette accepted that um, option, which is awesome that means we can you know not have to rely like worry about finding a second baseman um arbitration wise everybody besides Libra Toro will get it and everybody's going to get a contract here Alrighty, we're starting our season trading for archie bradley of the cubs we're getting rid of alex reyes it's been too long he's just not developing like i would have hoped so there's the first trade of the season all right another player to strengthen this bullpen zachary withrow is being traded as one of our last prospects that we do have for john brebbia of the cardinals and I think that might do it for bullpen additions. Um, you guys can see what we're kind of working with here. You can see why I was trying to pick up some new players. Um, we're going to send Vasquez down. Vasquez was a season three draft pick. No, season two. And I think we have this guy who was a season. This was a season three. Um, he actually looks kind of good. Um, but we're going to send someone down. We're going to look at the lineup. You guys can see we brought in Chris Bryant. He's going to play first base for us. We brought in a, a DH in Chris Davis. And that's really about it for changes. Oh, Tucker Barnhart as a backup catcher. So the lineup, I think, is looking nice. Um, I think our pitching is looking a lot stronger. And I feel like this is a season we definitely can push to uh, to be a, uh, you know, a playoff contender, maybe a World Series contender in season four. Like I said, this is this is a tough rebuild. This is a really tough rebuild, um, especially since you con like after season one, you basically had to restart with um, like a brand new team. So that's how season four is looking. I, I kind of have faith in the squad. This team's looking really good, and I have a feeling like we're gonna we're gonna do some damage with it. So let's see how it goes. If anything needs to be done, we'll do it at deadline day. At the deadline, Casey is still kind of struggling with ERA and whip. So we're going to trade him away for Kyle Freeland of the Rockies. I mean, his stats look really good. His ERA, his whip looks really nice. Um, we're getting rid of Casey, uh, like I mentioned, Pedro Araujo, who's really low rated, and Addison Reed, who's struggling this season. So I forgot to also mention that Andrew Heaney signed a contract with us. 
and um, it was kind of big. So that's probably why we're kind of in a, a weird budget area. Um, we're, we're, we're pretty tight with our budget at this point. Alonzo Beltran's pitching pretty well compared to Neil Valentine. So that's why we moved them, um, like swap them in their spots. We brought up Alberto Vasquez and everything else is looking pretty solid. So we're going to leave it how it is. We're in a wild card spot, so I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we can actually do it this season. Alrighty, it, it it's looking good. 95 and 67 on the season. Are you serious? We're looking really good. Um, we're taking on the Rays again, so we need to we need to get some revenge this season. We had a couple league leaders. You guys can see, or right, just one, Kyle Freeland. And then looking at awards, it looks like we had some more gold gloves. So rotation wise, Freeland was good. Heaney was okay. Cruz is looking like a very solid pitcher for us. Um, Blackburn and Beltran. Valentine's there. He's struggling a little bit. Garcia did well. Brebia did well. Vasquez did well. Okay. I mean, the bullpen looking nice. I like that. The bullpen is looking very strong. And then when we look at our lineup, I mean, Chris Davis. Oh, boy. Um, that's not good. Outside of that, I'm pretty happy with everyone's like production. You know, close to 20 home runs plus. Delmonico Springer's at the 30 mark. Chris Davis still hit 30 home runs. Chris Bryant hit 40. 40 for Scooter Jeanette. I mean, the offensive production is there. We just, that pitching needs to be there for us. I feel like that's what's going to hold us back. So, we're home. We're going to have Freeland on the mound taking on these Rays. Let's let's do this. They they did add JD Martinez, so that's always gonna be a, a tough one. And then it's not what I want to see to start the game. A solo shot, and then they have a, a, a single that gets them a run. So first and second, bases are loaded for Chris Davis, and he hits into a double play. Are you kidding me? That's that's game. I'm not uh, eleven to like what? How do you just fall apart like that so easily? Oh man, we're gonna give it one more season, see how it goes. The Rockies defeated the Mariners. Oh man, that is that's rough. That is rough. So we gotta go into season what five now? Um, I know we're gonna be strapped for a little bit of cash. We'll, we'll see what we can do with these. Ah, Scooter Jeanette's been good for us. And he's going to want a lot. Um, Corey Dickerson. I think we can move on from Corey Dickerson. Do we, though? Alvarez was good. I'm going to give him another deal. Um, Three million for a reliever is not bad at all. Chris Davies can walk. Who do we have at second? We don't really have anybody else at second. Let's do a year. At 12. And then we're going to let Dickerson walk. So let's do that. Villanueva has declined his contract option. Okay. I didn't know I gave him a contract option. But okay. Um, we do have a couple players that are... I'm not really worried about losing them. Alright, let's get this, this arbitration sorted. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's there. And then contracts-wise, same. Everybody's going to get a contract. Okay, if we don't win this year, I'm just, I'm going to lose my mind. Because the team we've assembled now is just, it's too good not to lose. I mean, look at it. Freeland, Heaney, Blackburn, Cruz, Beltran. We got Vasquez here. We got Yimmy Garcia. Whitgren's a new addition. We got Brebia, Bradley, Alvarez, Hayter. I mean, you're looking at this, and it, it, it can't let you down. Like, there's no way it lets me down. So, looking at our lineup, we got Batista, we got Jeanette, Bryant, Delmonico. We brought in Tyler Naquin in free agency. We got George Springer, Mike Moustakis from free agency for that bench bat, that power. Jorge Alfaro, Joan Camargo. And then on the bench, we got Elias Diaz, Gene Segura, you know, kind of platoon players, Spanos, and Villanueva. I mean, you, you see this team. And if we lose, I swear I'm going to lose it. Like, because it's such a good team. There's no reason why we should be losing any more games. So, let's get into it. And let's hope we make it past the wild card. All right, third time's the charm, right? Because when you see what happens again. 
I'm gonna lose it. We're taking on the race. 93 and 69. I mean, if we lose this, I, I mean, I, ca I can't handle it anymore. I can't, I can't handle getting w just absolutely manhandled by the same team three times in a row. So, I mean, this guy's been a really good pickup for us since we got him in free agency. Um, we got Scooter Jeanette's dipped a little bit. Um, Chris Bryant's there. Mustak has had a good year. Naquin, solid. George Springer's still killing it. Delmonico, Alfaro, Carmargo. So, it's looking like the bat's cooled off a little bit a little bit um and then when we look at our pitching huh huh okay a little a little worrisome about that Whitgren was good alvarez was okay but these three if we can hold a lead towards the end of a, a game we should be fine like when you look at that everything should be fine so just please no <laughs> oh man this is gonna be bad. I, it's just like, do I put my faith in them? I got to. It's we have to, right? Like, all right, let's, we're doing it. Okay, we went one, two, three. We're facing Snell again. A double play. That's not what we need, though. That's the thing. We need to get on base and we need to take advantage of it. And we don't right there. They got Wander Franco playing. That dude's going to be a beast in real life. We get a double play. That was huge right there. All right. A single. Okay. Bases are loaded. Please. Yes. And we get another one thanks to Nicky Delmonico. And we're looking. We're in a tough spot now. No, 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 no. We gave up, you know, the lead. We gave up the lead. Why? Why do we do these things? To ourselves why can't we just keep a lead for once <sighs> man sack fly we're gonna play matchups here because we're in a, a tough spot we're down two we're down one tyler naquin gets us back into it okay Whitgren goes one two three a double okay oh, we tie it up thanks to alfaro there there we go mm, yes okay cool all right Naquin, a double, yes. There we go, back-to-back -back doubles gives us the lead. Bases are loaded with one out. I feel like we gotta hit that sack fly. Oh, we didn't even need to. All right, uh, we're still gonna sack fly it. He struck out, way to go. Um, eighth inning, we gotta go to, you know, we gotta go to the guys who have been keeping it shut down all season, so we do. He goes, like, he gets the double play, so that's good. And then we're going to go to Josh Hader, who is going to, oh, yes, we are making it through. Finally, we're making it through for once. Um, I don't know what I want to do here. We'll do that. Oh, man, that finally we make it past the Rays. And are we going to make it past the Yankees? We might. We might. Game five. Who do we let take the mound? Heaney? I mean, Heaney looks good. Versevi. Freeland's tired. Let's go against Heaney. They got a lot of righties. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're we're going to have... I really don't want Blackburn taking the mound. Oh, no. Cruz. All right. I'm throwing my faith in the guy we drafted season one to help us out. Going against Seve and this juiced up Yankee squad with Lindor, Judge, Andujar, Glaber, Torres, Jordan, Alvarez. Are you serious? Stanton, Voigt? This is going to be a home run derby. This is going to be horrible. All right. We get a run. Uh, we get a base runner. That's gone. Okay. That's cool. It's 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 gonna get ugly. I can feel it. It's three nothing. I mean, it doesn't help that we're going against Sevy. Like, he's gonna be lights out. And like, if we don't take advantage of our base runners, we're we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. First and third. Okay, we get one in. Johan Camargo. Oh man. All right, tie ball game. Cruz is done after five. Perfect. We get a single. That's good. First and third. Springer, please. Springer, please. Double play. Are you kidding me? 
really mm, uh let's go with Whitgren double really uh pitching change yes uh let's go to Alvarez of course he lets a single up oh man we're in we're in a little bit of trouble here gets out of it yes there we go first and second Chris Bryant I needed you to do something there so bad and why is this becoming a difficult situation for us now three runs really scored there four runs are you serious you gotta hurt me like that okay we're down to one uh two more outs one more I got I got to end it there. I can't take any more defeat. This was rough. This was tough. This was really tough. Um uh, I mean, the Astros swept the Pirates. Um you guys can see that. This was tough because like after season 1, you literally have to spend your entire budget to get a brand new squad. So let's take a look at what we finished with. I mean, to say that we started from nothing, literally nothing, and we came up with this in what 5 seasons, I'm pretty happy with it. Um free agency the last like last season like four going into five was probably the best one and prior to that there were probably a couple good players here and there so it was really difficult obviously the roster that i used was a very weakened farm system for the orioles um i did that myself just to make it a little bit more difficult so that's why i really wasn't able to trade a lot of players or trade a lot of farm system players because there really weren't any to trade so it was literally like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel for everything you can get to make this squad. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do in the five seasons from starting from literally nothing in season two. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's rebuild. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. Like I said, I got something planned for 15,000 subs and I want to bring it to you guys. So the quicker we can get there, the quicker I can reveal those plans. Again, if you missed yesterday's video, it's up here in the top corner. And let me know some more rebuilds. Let me know some challenges. If you guys want to see this roster so that you guys can do it and you guys can tweet me or let me know what you guys differently, uh, what you guys would do differently, let's get this video to 500 likes and I'll put this roster in the roster vault for you guys. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.